Hey everyone, my name is GamerCory and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in this video, I do briefly want to give you guys a little bit of what I have found according to the cycles and kind of what I, I see going on with them, especially with what was going on over the last day or so. So anyway, let's go ahead and kind of break down this video in a couple different ways. And we're going to start by, uh, if you guys are enjoying these types of videos and want to continue seeing these types of videos, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you guys get notified each and every single time that I do drop a video just like this one. And on a quick side note, I do play a lot of other games here on the channel, so definitely check those out. And I do have a website, which is GamerCory.com. If you guys want to be able to submit some video footage to me again that link is gamercory.com and will be available down in the description but anyway uh getting back to the cycles it's it looks like it's a brand new cycle day but it's not completely now uh, obviously we don't know what this means for the future but it's not a completely randomized generated cycle so it does look like from doing a little bit more investigating and actually talking with a few other people earlier today that before this video actually went out that uh, our, it would be considered like possibly cycle five because yesterday was a brand new day considered cycle four this would be cycle five however there were a couple collection sets that were associated with previous collectible sets and cycle sets so i by that i mean specifically the eggs were actually cycle number one this last time for today for yesterday and the family heirlooms were cycle number three family heirlooms so we're just gonna have to kind of see how it goes it looks like from what i'm seeing right now is that rockstar is implementing new cycles but not every cycle is is going to be 100 brand new so it almost looks like they're adding to what they already had so every day it almost looks like each collectible set will have its own private cycle number so for an example eggs might be cycle one family heirlooms might be cycle three arrowheads might be cycle four um tarot card cups might be cycle six Things like that is going to be happening. So it's going to be a completely randomized cycle day for each individual set. So the locations might not be 100% uh, random just because today kind of proved otherwise. And by that, like I said earlier, that the eggs were actually cycle number one and the family heirlooms were cycle three. All the other sets, I couldn't find any correlation. There was some that were in similar locations. Like it was taking some from like cycle one, two, and three. But then some of them were a completely brand new location for items. And obviously we're still trying to find out if items are there for everybody. Or if they're just random dig sites and random event locations. Or not events, but random dig sites or metal detector location so we're still trying to figure all that out but today's family heirlooms were 100 percent the exact same and it's the same thing with the with the eggs they just were not the same cycle number hopefully that does make sense and i wanted to be able to bring this information to you guys so you guys can kind of stay in the know with it and uh, as soon as I find out more information, I'll definitely be giving it to you guys the best that I can. If you guys do have any questions regarding it, I'll definitely do my best to um, kind of dive into it a little bit more here with you guys. Because I want you guys to be able to be in the know when it comes to the collectibles. Because it is one of the best possible ways of making money here on Red Dead Online. It's how I made literally hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's how a lot of other people have made tens of you know, thousands to ten of thousands of dollars um, each and every single day and in their total bank account balance for Red Dead Online. Uh, it's it's such an amazing way to do it, and I hope that it continues that way because I, I can say that the Moonshiner Roll is not a money-making, great money-making opportunity until you, we start hitting a little bit higher for, for that Moonshiner Roll rank. But anyway... Let's go ahead and uh, end this video now. Unfortunately, I don't know what cycle it is. Um, the cycles are still being established, so that we won't know. If I start to see a pattern emerge with some of the other ones, I will give you guys an update video as soon as I possibly can. So that way at least you guys can get one or two, three, maybe four of the collection sets um, out there. 
But it is what it is, and if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And if you guys have any input or things that you guys have found, please let me know as well. You can either add a comment down below, or you can send me a private message on Twitter or wherever um, to get a hold of me if you guys would like. But that is all the time that I have for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video and found it helpful in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.